one man's opinion. We got Christopher Arndt here. Or would you like to be anonymous? <laughs> it's kind of too late. Now. I'm anonymous. Fuck it. <clears throat> we are replacing an intake manifold gasket. Two of them. It has been a mechanic messing with cars kind of weak. When you get to this part of the thermostat, you're going to need a deep socket. This is just one of those things you run into. Serious about the video though. My name is Billy Bob Thornton. And I'm here to tell you how gay this bad boy is right now. This is some bad shit. So what exactly happened is I lost interest in recording and now we're re-recording on day two. And this is where we're at and what would be your advice for anyone trying to tackle this project? Um, my advice is that it is not a hard job. Um, it's relatively easy. It's just taking everything out of the way and having the right tools. Because yesterday we forgot our deep sockets and uh you definitely need deep sockets. Definitely gonna need your deep project. sockets. Lots of studs having to take out. Right? Yeah. So we got about four studs on the manifold. So a lot of things bolting to a lot of other things. Right. And there's also when you take the manifold off, you are bound to determine you're gonna you're going to dump fluid down into this hole. Which is the true. distributor hole. Okay. So. And that is a problem why? Because uh, you're going to get water in the bottom of your oil pan. Okay. And, and we don't want that bullshit. No, you don't want that bullshit. Yeah. So make it look like chocolate milk. Now we're trying to just replace the gasket. Anyway, as of right now, we're trying to scrape all the extra gasket off here so that we can rtv it and put the new gasket on and uh just trying to get everything clean so where would you say our eta is or what would you say how far along on this project are we as of right now in your opinion i'd say we're about 50 percent about 50 that's what i was thinking so more videos to come i'm sure um, okay we are In full retard mode, is that what you just said? Yeah. Okay, well, so far, this is no progress. RTVing the job, right? You put that underneath the gasket. Yeah. And that fills in any little nooks and crannies that may have developed from removal. And is there a cure time on this stuff? No. No cure time. You, I mean, you, after you install everything, you gotta wait 24 hours. I see. So you're, this truck will not be cranked today? No. Okay. So keep that in mind, peeps. For whoever is bored enough to watch this video. <laughs> Okay, so you've already done this side. Let's see if I can. This is probably going oh. upside down. I think. What? Guys. But, uh, you said you installed it upside down. It happens, I suppose. This is another video from the intake side here. Um,. This is our intake. Pretty much the gasket's all been cleaned off of it. Uh, but I was going to point out this little booger right here is where the EGR valve hooks on on this side. See, right there. And it gets extremely dirty. So whenever I, I basically had to chisel this bad boy out with a screwdriver so we could unblock that port. Um, because it looked like this one, which this one is a, it's solid, like, it's the, it's made into the intake like that, but, see, it's like, 
It's like rocks down in there. That's the EGR? Yeah. And it's that right there. Mechanism there. Which actually the EGR, this is what it looks like on this truck. It's a beautiful looking EGR valve, if I say so. It's brand spanky new. What are you doing, Chris? You're making a big hole. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. Chris was very liberal with the RTV. So mm -hmm. as we have progressed, Chris has gotten more and more frustrated. <coughs> okay. It's gun check time. It looks like a heavy son bitch right there. You want me to handle that? It is a heavy son bitch. <clears throat> you wanna hold the wires out of the way? It doesn't matter. You can set it there. Or you can just... I'll give a fuck. See you later, EGR now. <laughs> <laughs> so the intake is back on. As you can tell, I use lots of RTV. So hopefully this bad boy don't leak. And by the way, there's a sequence. You know, you gotta go from there inside out on the bolts so how far along would you say we were into this project we're a good four hours in right lots of little repetitious stuff hmm. now chris I'm, I'm curious to know how do you know which bolt goes where? I don't. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, did you have any advice for anybody? No. Google it. Keeping up with this kind of stuff. Hmm. This is what happens when you're working with professionals. I'm looking for a bolt. Definitely gonna put a dent in our ETA, huh? As you can tell, we haven't gotten anywhere. And the reason being, a little bit of progress. Yeah, well, the reason being is that I <laughs> I dropped a bolt for the hold down clamp on the distributor into the grass, the grassy surface, the grassy knoll, and it was gone forever. This, to be, I don't know, it's not there. So we had to go to the parts store. Luckily, they were smart enough to know exactly what size the bolt was. As you can tell, there's a nice shiny new bolt right there. So lesson learned or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you flip this thing around? Does it flip around? Like it doesn't, there's no fucking thing there. See this shit? There's nothing there. Huh. Huh. You on video, right? Yeah. I'm mind blown right now. I don't understand. Progress report. We have uh, successfully put the throttle body on. <clears throat> Everything's torqued to spec. You know, with your good old muscles. Um... Next is the distributor. Right. Look at this hair. I wouldn't have this hair any other way. This is what it should look like. I hope after you're done putting it all back together and putting the water and stuff back in. So this is a job that you would say what 98% complete? Yeah. Literally all you have to do is put the little breather back on, air filter and whatnot, mm -hmm. and then wait for this orange RTV stuff to cure because right there supposedly it leaks. That's why we did this. And all the plugs are hopefully back in the right spot. Anything you would like to add to this before this job is completely done? This is not a job you want to do if you're an amateur, okay? What would we consider ourselves? 
I'm an amateur. I'd say we're amateurs, and doing this job took us about seven and a half hours. Um, so what would you recommend somebody doing this? Or you want no, to take I'd to say shop? you could do it. You can tackle it. Um, I think it's pretty easy, but... Frustration involved. Yeah, th mm -hmm. there's a lot of frustration, and it's pretty tedious. Like, when it comes, you got to make sure the torque values are right, because, you know it's gonna leak otherwise and then you're gonna to have to redo it so that's what we're hoping doesn't happen so we let it cure f or sit for as long as this dude wants to let it sit and then he's gonna crank it back up like what how long do you think probably gonna crank it back up about this evening but, you know after that of birds so he's letting it sit for like six hours <clears throat> this stuff's been on here for about an hour and uh uh, more like four and a half, four and a five hours, something like that. And uh, so there you have it. This is not a job for somebody who's just got some like. If you ain't got ish to do. I mean, and... you better not have nothing to do. This is like seven and a half hours at least, just sitting here. And this is with two people. So. If you're doing it by yourself, maybe you could tackle it in less than that. I don't know. Better like get your back stretches out of the way. Yeah, I will say that I, yesterday, bullcrapped around for a good, I mean, we worked on it for two, three hours yesterday, something like that, and I pretty much bullcrapped around, I slowly took stuff off, so I think we probably could have finished the job a lot quicker had we, like, been, like, had I been gung-ho, but, like, this is, this is bullcrap, so, hmm. um, did you tighten these? Got it on? Here. Because I don't remember doing it. I'll Not check it sure. before we start. <clears throat> okay, well, there you have it. Um, you're looking at like, how much for the gaskets? I believe it was right around $25. Um, the RTV was like $3. So uh, it was right around a $30 job that would have. You know, plus the antifreeze or whatever. Plus the antifreeze, but I already had it. So, um, so what? Well, that makes it a forty, fifty dollar job, and where a dealership probably would have charged you two fifty just for the, you know, just doing it, right. plus parts. So, three hundred dollars probably versus fifty dollars to do it yourself, and a whole day of your time. I say do it yourself, and that's. One man's opinion, but two? Yeah, I say do it yourself, too, because it's okay. learning experience, bro. Learning experience, or female, so whatever you call a female. Maybe what, she-male? <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget out. it. I'm doing take two. Take two is that we uh, went to the parts store earlier to get a distributor bolt, and we had to go to the O'Reilly's parts store. Because our O'Reilly's is the ish. And I will say that there's a dude in there, his name's Ronnie. I don't know if we can tag him in this bad boy, but he seems to know everything there is to know about a 350 small block. So, um, that's it. I wanted to redo, you know, a second take of this because I slung some cuss words out at the beginning and, you know, I'm calm now. My juju's good. I mean, I'm doing yoga, but uh, that's how that's how we rolling. So that's how we roll here in Tejas. All right, deuces.